Hey guys, I wanted to show you real quick how to take apart, well, or at least put back together uh, one of these Black Magic Speed Editor keyboards. All right, so I've already taken it apart. Um, I didn't record it, so I'm, I'll try and tell you what I did in the sequence oh, I did it. This thing was not working. The USB port was, was loose, so I opened it up to try and fix it. Anyways, that's what this looks like. Whatever, if you want to check it out. So this this big, uh, what is this, a capacitor? It's a capacitor. It had a little sticky foam here. It was stuck there. It was, it was actually pretty tough to get it off. So you want to use like a hairdryer or something instead of just ripping it like I did. <laughs> All right, so this was just right here. Make sure that ribbon cable's up there. There was four bolts. It's a little Allen. I ended up using a, a Torx, a T10, because that's just all I have right now. It's just kind of just a last minute repair. So I'm just gonna put it back together and I'll try and, maybe I'll play this in reverse and show you how to take it apart. So uh, there's a little button right here. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's some sort of a reset. It says SM1 on it. It's not accessible from from the box, from the from the case. So just an observation. All right, so let's snug all this down. Great. All right, so this little arm flips up and down. I didn't know if it was a slide out or a flip up. It flips up. So let's put this back. I should have put this on first, actually. It's hard to get the tension I need. Right, that looks pretty good. Okay, it looks pretty flush. All right, that's it. Okay, there's the ports. This little bit of the USB-C port kind of hangs on this, so you gotta watch out for that. But you can just sort of put this back, lay it flat, and slide it back. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that right there, kind of the USB-C kind of sticking out. And there's the bolts. So I'm going to put a screw in there. This is a PH1, if you're interested. I don't have my normal setup today with like the table and the lights, but hopefully you guys can see. If you just have an emergency repair you want to do, <laughs> this is basically how it's done all right this took me a while to figure out these are sticky got little four little sticky things that go right here and it was kind of screwing with me so I couldn't figure out how to get that off there's another one there there's some more over here but basically it just goes in like that okay, just push it and then you can lift it up and just snap it in and it's together now it's not going to fall apart on you and then put the screws in I'm sorry I didn't record this when I took it apart, I just didn't know how to take it apart. 